Hi friends, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Oh my God, it's my first video. So today we're gonna to be repotting my almost six foot fig tree together. A, because my fig tree just really needs to be repotted. And B, I thought it would be a good opportunity to share some of the plant care best practices that I've picked up along my years. Now let's get planting. Truthfully, the best time to repot your plants is during a plant's active growing season. So that's in the spring and summer. I actually procrastinated because I was planning to film this video and then it never happened. It's a snowy day in Toronto and we're just gonna make do and go for it. You only want to size up in your pot one to two inches. So plants are measured in the diameter of their pot size. If you put your plant into a super big pot with tons of extra soil floating around, what happens when you water it is there isn't enough roots to suck all of the extra moisture up through the plant and it ends up just sitting in the soil. And this could just be a perfect environment for waterlogged soil and bacteria to grow and then you get root rot and your plant dies and it's just a mess. So only size up one to two inches. Today I'm actually going to be repotting my fig tree from a a 12 inch planter into a 14 inch planter. A few things that I did off camera is give the plant a super good watering a couple hours before shooting this video. This is just gonna make sure that the roots aren't brittle and that everything is feeling good when we repot it. I know some of you might wanna come for me in the comments for this, but I'm actually going to cut this root system. Um, this plant is super old. I know that there are tons of roots that are actually in the pot. So once I've pulled it out, I'm kind of inspecting the roots here. And what I'm seeing is it's like completely root bound. Before you repot, you actually wanna break up the root system a little bit. This is gonna help it grow into the new soil. It's okay if you break roots, that is totally fine. It's not gonna hurt the plant. In fact, every time you break it, it helps with new growth. You can also use scissors to help break up the system a bit. I kind of feel like I'm like doing nothing right now. So I feel pretty good about this. I've ripped at the root system, but I've still kept the plant together. I don't want to completely take it apart. I just want the roots to loosen up and be able to grow into the new soil. So since I've already prepped this planter with soil, I'm just going to plop it right in. Actually, I'm going to dig a bit of more of a hole. Okay, now we're ready. Boop. I basically just want the plant to be centered and then I'm just going to literally take the rest of the soil and pack it around the sides. You want to stop when there's about one to two inches from the top of the pot to where the soil ends. So then I'm just going to give it a nice bang on all sides of the pot to kind of help everything come together. And the very last step is to give it one final watering and then we're done. I hope you guys are still with me. Those are the basics of repotting. And if you want more of this content, please like and subscribe and I'll make sure to keep them coming.